Hey everyone, welcome back to Rose's Year of One. I have done my project pan intro and I did mention in that, that I will be doing makeup rehab again this year and I will be making a video outlining exactly what my makeup rehab goals are for this year but before I can do that we need to have the facts and figures so it is inventory time. Today we are going through my 2021 opening skincare inventory. It is over halfway through February when I'm filming this so I do just want to say there will be a couple of empties in this and it's just because they need to be counted in as opening figures so that I can count them towards my reverse rouge and count them towards my empties this year. So just in case you're wondering why I show you any empty things at any point, that is why. This is what we are opening my 2021 skincare inventory with. So let's get on into it. I have one eye makeup remover, it's the Lancome by Facile. Um, you can obviously barely see it because there's hardly anything in it to read the white writing against but it is worth $40 and I am aiming to finish this up this year. I will replace it with another eye makeup remover but if I want to try and reduce the value of my stash this year I will maybe be looking at replacing it with a slightly less expensive one. On to general face makeup removers, I have got five of these worth $43.47. There are already two empties here so I've got the micellar water which I've finished and obviously replaced and this little Ren um, makeup remover is finished. So basically what I would quite like to get my makeup removers down to is a micellar water and then something slightly more heavy duty like a balm or an oil cleanser. I will be aiming to finish this year with only two makeup removers in my stash. Moving on to cleanser, I have got 22 cleansers. They are worth $380.68. In terms of what is realistic to use up this year, this one is near enough done. This one is open and in use, so I think this one will get finished this year. This one has also been opened. This one I've definitely had one or two uses out of. I think I took this when I used to go swimming so this one isn't full so I'll try and keep that one down for using. I like this one from Murad. It's got a BHA in it so I quite like using this, washing my face and then leaving it on for a couple of seconds. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six that I've picked out so far. I think what I'll do is put the rest of these into storage. If I use up any more than those six, then great, because obviously I am aiming to try and work through this. I think what I'd maybe like to do is try and use up as many minis as possible. Obviously, the year of one is all about reducing my stash and hopefully getting things like cleansers down to not being a category that I have 22 of. Did I say I'd just pick six? I picked five. But if I can finish these five this year, plus any others, I will be quite happy. Toners, I have three to open 2021 with. They are worth $44.50. And I would like to finish all three of these this year. Essence, I have five worth $101.30. The only one that's been in use is the Kiehl's one. That's the one I actually bought. And the other four have come through sort of Christmas gifts or like gift bags, gifts with purchases, things like that. What I'd quite like to do, again in the spirit of the year of one being about really reducing the numbers, is to use up the four minis this year. This Kiehl's Iris Essence is a repurchase and it takes me ages to use it. You need so, so little of it. So I feel like I'd rather try and get the other four worked out and then go back to the Iris, which I know I love and will definitely repurchase again in the future. But I feel like if I concentrate on the Iris first, then come the end of the year, there will still be all the minis floating around. So I'm going to put the Iris into storage and try and concentrate on the four mini essences. Serums, I have six to show you here but I'm actually opening with eight. I have got a Dior serum somewhere, it's just a little deluxe sample size and I cannot find it but I know I've definitely not thrown it out because I was keeping it specifically A for filming this and then B to put into my empties so I'm sure as soon as I'm finished filming this it will turn up. And the second one that's not here is the Ordinary Marine Hyaluronics. I have actually only just ordered that, it is out for delivery today so again it'll probably come within the next hour or so after I finish filming this but I can't hold off any longer to start filming so although there are only six in shot I actually am opening with eight serums worth $372.51 and my aim is to finish all eight of them by the end of the year which I think I'll do with no issues. I did say I'd find this pretty much as soon as I stopped filming and it was mixed up with my moisturiser so this is the 
Dior Serum that is counted into my opening total. Facial oils I am opening with five worth $136.73. Now last year I kept the two full size Kiehl's oils down and that's the ones that I was trying to use. I am hoping they will be finished reasonably early into this year and ideally I would really like to be down to only one facial oil by the end of the year so I'm not going to pick specific products or what I'm going to try to use up mainly I want to get the Kiehl's ones moved out first and then hopefully use up two of the remaining ones. I have five retinol or retinoid products worth $196.16. As you can see the ones that I have used are the La Roche-Posay, this is the Rodermic R and as you can see it's been through my tube squeezer it's a very pleasing one to put through a tube squeezer i really really like this actually i would definitely definitely repurchase it um this actually breaks me out a little bit the sunday riley luna but for the sake of trying to finish it up i've been using this on some stretch marks that i have so i'm going to continue using it that way i don't really know if it's making that much of a difference but i would like to get this used up and moved out so yeah i would like to finish that one this year I think what I might do actually is put this one aside and try and finish up the minis because I really just want to have less stuff. I would rather be left with one full size product than all the minis that I've got. These are the three that I am aiming to use up this year. Um, this is a Redermic as well from La Roche-Posay but it's the daytime one with the SPF. I feel like I'm still in the process of working retinol into my skincare, I'm not ready to start using it as my daily SPF or anything. So if I still get the two La Roche-Posay ones at the end of the year, I'll be all right with that. But I would definitely like to finish those three. On to eye products. I have 22 eye products. So that's eye masks and eye creams. They're worth $395.03 altogether. I feel like this category is kind of impossible to predict because a lot of the sort of single use eye masks and things it feels like such a waste to use them whilst we're in lockdown, whilst we're in the house. So whether I'm going to go through them or not, I don't really know. In terms of kind of normal eye creams, I would definitely like to use up at least four. But I would, I would generally quite like to have this category down a lot more than that. But yeah, I also don't want to be using things that I'm not really going to get the benefit of using them other than to sit in the house kind of thing. So we'll see. I would like to use up as much as possible, but for being the minimum. Moisturisers are another one that I have a lot of. I have got 34 moisturisers and they are worth $725.31. Just in case anyone is counting on screen, one of them is in work. It's the Kiehl's Centella Balm, so I know exactly which one it is, but everything else is here and the Kiehl's one is obviously the value has been worked in. I'm kind of torn on how to approach this, whether I try and get through loads of minis and try and reduce the quantity or whether I use some of the full size ones that I've actually paid for just to try and get my money out of them because obviously they're going to be going off. I feel like ultimately anything in a tube is kind of secondary because it doesn't go off quite as quickly as anything in a tub so I think maybe what I'll do, I definitely want to try and finish, well I say finish, I barely started using this, um, it's the Origins Nitamins, but it's the one with the AHAs in it. I feel like again because it's in a tub it's just going to destabilise really quickly and I've started using that one so I definitely want to finish this this year. I am enjoying using it, I definitely would get it again but I feel like it's one to prioritise using and I've heard Drunk Elephant stuff goes off really quite quickly so I'm going to try and use up these two as well. As you can see it is very nearly finished and I did get a full size of it for Christmas so I'll prioritise this as well and then I think you know I think what I might do is use things that I've got like sets of the minis so that because I feel like sometimes if I jump about too much between too many different mini products my skin gets a bit angry with it. These two I believe are the same and that the packaging has maybe just changed. They are both from Quadrilly and they both say Reservatol Lift on them so I feel like it's the same thing in different packaging. So I'll keep those two down. Then I've got other sets actually but to be fair they're tubes again rather than tubs. In fact, you know, I'll maybe keep this down and try and use this up. It's from Sizzly, so it's obviously one that would get me a good value towards my reverse rouge. Yeah, so I will put those away for now and we'll get started. That gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to get started with. So this is obviously just night time and I'll use those six during the day and then hopefully we'll get on to more of them 
as the year goes on. One category that I have under control is my SPF, so I only have one SPF, it's the Darfan Intral. It's worth $48. I do obviously have that retinol SPF, but I feel like I'm not looking at that as being a normal SPF kind of thing. So in terms of a daily SPF, I only have one in that category, and it's this one, which I am very happy with. I purchased it towards the end of last year when I used up the rest in my stash, and I would definitely repurchase it. I think it's a really lovely, lightweight one that just gives my skin a really nice glow, but I'm quite oily, so it's not on that overly oily, glowy kind of look way. Um, and I really enjoy this, so I would definitely buy it again. So on to another problematic one is face masks. So I have got 42 face masks to open 2021 with, value of $966.01. I did not use a lot of face masks up last year. It was a category I really underperformed on, but I did use a lot, although I didn't finish a lot. So I hope this year I'm going to actually power through quite a few of these because I feel like there's loads that have not that much longer left till they're finished. So again, I feel like similar to moisturiser, I need to prioritise what is in tubs rather than what is in tubes. I want to finish the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Mask as my brightening mask. That's one I will keep down. I want to finish these two from Kiehl's, as you can see. This one's literally got like one use left in it and this one is very nearly done as well. So these two hydrating masks from Kiehl's I'm going to keep down. I'm going to keep down Kiehl's Rare Earth um, Mud Mask again just because it's in a tub so it's going to dry out sooner than anything that's in a tube. I'll keep these two down again because, because they're in tubs and they're clay based. These will dry out so I feel like I need to really prioritise these this year so we'll keep them down. This one again is so nearly done, it's the Origins Mega Mushroom and um, it's just good for when my skin is feeling just angry and sensitive so I'm going to keep a hold of that. Obviously I'm keeping a hold of all of these things but I mean the things that I'm going to keep down and keep in rotation and then I'm going to store the other things. I will keep this down which is from Origins and it's the Out of Trouble mask. It's the only mask I really have that sort of really targets blemishes. I feel like this is great for if I've got sensitive under the skin spots that don't have a head on them. I feel like this kind of helps them to actually come out and then once they've got a head on them you can use spot treatment and hurry them away. But I feel like this is just really really good with speeding up that process. I will keep this down because obviously this is like a single use thing. So it's from Innisfree, it's the Brightening and Pore Caring Sleeping Mask. So I will keep that down because that's like one use and it's done. What else is left? I'm going to keep my two Sizzly masks down just because I want to use these because they are expensive and I paid for them both. I want to try and get the use of these before they go off at anything. They still feel absolutely fine at the moment and I do. I really, really like them. I would definitely, maybe not so much this one. I feel like this is sort of it's a radiance one and it's sort of clay based um, and I do really really like it but I feel like I have more affordable alternatives to this whereas I feel like this and the Sicily Black Rose Mask are just unrivaled from everything I've kind of tried so I do want to keep these down and use them before they go off because they were obviously a lot of money. Again I feel like I got quite good use out of this last year so we're about halfway through this uh, which is the pollution defending mask so I'll keep that one down. I won't bother keeping down the minis though, I'll just wait until I finish the full size to bring those minis into play. I feel like that's that is probably enough to get Oh, in fact, I better keep this. This is an AHA based exfoliating mask and I used quite a lot of that last year so again that's nearly done. And I'll keep down this from Origins, it's their maskimizer. It's just a facial spray that you use supposedly to get the most out of your mask. I have it, I may as well use it. So I'll keep that down. But yeah, everything else that's left here, I think we'll put into storage. This little pile here is what we will aim to use up this year. In terms of sheet masks, I've got 18 sheet masks. They are worth $116.23. I really enjoy using sheet masks, but I feel like the last few years I've gone through more sheet masks than I have masks in tubes and tubs. So I'm not going to set any goals on this. I really want to try and get down my kind of normal non-sheet mask face mask collection. So yeah, I'm quite happy for this to just sort of stay where it is. They're individually packaged, they're sealed, they're not going to go off as quickly as something in a tub. And I'm sure I'll still use some of them, especially if we get to do any travelling this year. Remains to be seen. 
but yeah I know I will go through these one way or the other but I feel like I'd rather prioritise normal face masks so I'm not going to set any goals on these ones. The next category is miscellaneous treatments and I have seven products in this category which are worth $389.20. For the most part these are kind of treatment products so like spot treatments or like I've got a Kiehl's wrinkle filler thing there that I forget to use, really should use a bit more often. I'm not desperately going to set any strict goals however I would like to finish these two. This is the Sizzly Detox Treatment and then the Kiehl's Wrinkle Filler again. I don't use this very often but there's not a lot left in it so I feel like if I just make an effort this could get used up and this is nowhere near done but I would like to try and just use it because again it's Sizzly so it cost me a lot of money, I paid for it myself so I'd like to get the use of it. It's probably technically expired already but you know before it completely turns. Um, so I'd like to finish those two and then in terms of the other ones the MOA Balm is kind of good when my eczema flares up but it's an as and when product and the other ones are all sort of spot treatments that are kind of interchangeable to an extent so I only use them when I have spots which is as time goes on not as often as it used to be when I was younger so I'm not going to set any goals but yeah we'll use use up what we can kind of thing. On to peels and exfoliators, I've got 10 of these worth $361.70. The way I've sort of split them out is that these two products are sort of chemical exfoliators that are like gentle for every day. So I've got the Kiehl's Nightly Defining Micro Peel Concentrate and then the Zellin's PHA and Bio Peel Resurfacing Facial Pads. These are both chemical exfoliators that are designed to be worked into your everyday skincare routine. Then I've got three manual exfoliators, the Kiehl's Microdermabrasion, um, the Origins Charcoal one and then the Dermalogica um, Daily Micro Exfoliant, which again, you could in theory argue you could use these every day, but I tend not to. I prefer these but I feel like just sometimes when my skin gets really congested I do just want a manual scrub in there so I do keep some of them. And then these ones are more like intensive peels so like the Ordinary AHA and BHA peel, the Lancer peel and then three of these um, Natura BC diamond peels. I feel like because these are for every day I would like to finish both of these by the end of the year and I would like to have used up one of the manual scrubs and then either ideally like all three of these and maybe the Lancer peel as well or the Ordinary peel I'm not sure probably ideally these four just to try and reduce the quantity so I'm going to keep down these two these four I'll put that one in storage and I'm going to keep down this Kiehl's one because these are both dry powders that you add water to to activate whereas this one isn't so I feel like they're probably not going to go off as quickly. So I'm going to store those three and keep these ones down. I have got five facial sprays worth $66.98. This year I think I would like to try and use up these two Rain ones and then I did start using this one last year but it is an oil control one so it's really only good for me in the summer but I would quite like to get a little bit more use out of that one and the Omra Vitsa of the other two is a smaller one. I think the Clarins one's 100ml and the Omra Vitsa one is a 50ml so I would also like out of the two hydrating mists to try and finish this one up just to reduce my stash so I will keep these four down and I'm going to put the Clarins one into storage. We have got the regular guest star making our presence known. Um. She's a little bit camera shy, you know, she doesn't like to really be on camera, she just likes to make noise in the background. So the usual disclaimer, if you hear the bell, that is, that is who is to blame. Oh, you're, she's way under there, hiding, <laughs> extreme hiding. <laughs> Right, let's go on with the inventory. Basically, if you hear noise, it's it's that little three-legged cat under there that is absolutely tiny, but, um, you know, seems to manage to make her presence known without too much... Without too many problems, don't you? Yes. Okay, on with the products. We are pretty much on to the home stretch now, so we're on to body products. In terms of body scrubs, I have got one. It is worth $70.59. 
I bought this and the corresponding body lotion after I'd had a spa treatment that used the product. I feel like I would never have in a normal setting, like in a store. I would hope even in the depths of my like problematic shopping times have spent $70 on a body scrub. Like it's so insane to me to have done that but I will use it up because I did buy it as insane as it may be but I certainly will not be replacing body scrubs at that kind of value so yeah but hopefully it'll be a nice total towards my reverse rouge oh you, you. you're climbing up okay on to body wash I have got three worth $51.17 and I'm aiming to use all three up this year body masks I have got two they are worth $60 altogether I would hope to maybe want to use up the origins one this year that is this one here I had the match one of this last year and I actually just used it up almost as a body scrub I didn't really use it as a body mask as such and I feel like that's probably what I will do with this one, once I've used up my other body scrub, I will finish this, but as a scrub, not as a mask. Hopefully at some point I will use both of these and I feel like body masks are not something I'm going to purchase again. Bath products, I've got seven bath products, so two like liquid ones and then five, I got a box of five. Bath bombs for Christmas, so I've just counted these as a dollar each, which I'm sure is probably not the right value, but I really couldn't be bothered looking it up. So they're worth so I've counted them as five dollars for that box and then the L'Occitane bath foam is worth seven dollars and eighty cents and then the Rain one is worth forty eight dollars so all in my bath products are worth sixty dollars and eighty cents and there are seven of them and again my ability to use these up will be determined by traveling and access to actually having a bath because I only have a shower in my home so we'll just need to see what happens there but if I do get to travel I would like to get rid of the bath bombs first just because they are one use products and I would just like to be rid of them rather than having them hanging around for ages um, but having said that the Ren one is the most expensive so it's also then the next priority to try and get my money out of it because of all these products the Ren oil is the only one that I personally chose and paid for I feel like the other ones have all come in gifts which is not to sound ungrateful but just in terms of trying to prioritize like a bringing my stash down but also b getting my money that i getting my money's worth out of the products i've spent my own money on on to body moisturizers i have got 22 worth 741 dollars and 61 cents this is definitely a category I want to try and reduce this year. So in terms of that, eh, this is the moisturiser that matches the scrub that I've got. So I'm going to keep this one down. This is the Sicily White Ginger Contouring Oil, which I really, really like. And similar to what I said about the masks, obviously it's an expensive brand. I paid for it myself, so I want to try and get the money's worth out of it. I have got the shower gel that matches this from Davines so I want to keep this one down. I quite like using things in sets so if I've got like a matching washer scrub I will tend to keep the moisturiser so I'm keeping that one down. This is obviously very nearly done so I will keep that one down and just finish it off. Another one that I'd opened last year was this one from This Works. So this is again not much left in it so I'm going to keep this one down and use it up. This is another one that I started using last year. It's from Ermana. It's their Tone Balm. Um, so yeah, very much not much left in that one actually. So I will again get like, I don't even know if there's enough for a full leg in there. But I will get what's left out of this and use that one up. I feel like everything else is relatively new-ish. Actually, no, that's a lie. Um, in this tub is the remnants of my lush wiki magic muscles so as you can see this is the only bit with actual bar left on it so I will keep that one done keep that one down even but yeah everything else I think is pretty untouched so I think what I will do over here in my keeping down pile I've got one two three four five six seven that is probably enough to be fair but then this is nearly done these three are like so nearly done and that leaves me like four that are not. I think I will still just keep down these two though just because they are in tubs. 
So that's the Origins Ginger Supply and then this little sample size of the Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana Cream. So we'll keep down those ones and these ones will all go into storage. And then this is what I am aiming to finish this year. So quite a lot, but as I said, most of them have been started on at least, even if they're not completely done. So I, hopefully this should be realistic to use up. On to hand creams, I have got nine worth $127. So last year I have started using this one, um, this one and these two. So these four are ones that are not necessarily nearly done but like have definitely been started on. So I will definitely finish those four. I've definitely used this. This is the Kiehl's Purifying Hand Treatment. So I've kind of low-key been keeping this for travelling because it's from the Kiehl's Travel range. It's designed for travelling but we're not doing much of that so I may as well just use it up. And I have also, again, I've not like started using this properly but, but I've definitely used this a few times. It's the This Works Energy Bank Hand Makeover which I actually bought by accident. I thought I was buying the body makeover and then had to go back and buy the body makeover. Really what I should have done is taken this back and swapped it but that didn't even occur to me. So we'll keep that one down as well. So that's six that I'm keeping down and three that I will put into storage. I have got three foot products, one peel and two creams worth $24.85 and I'm aiming to use all three of these up this year. I will definitely, this is like a one use foot peel, I've spoken about these, these are so, so good, these okay foot peels. I had the watermelon one last time which I didn't think was as good but I've had the apple one and a citrusy one or something like that and they were both great, dramatically good before and after results. Um, so yeah, I will definitely use that up and repurchase it a few times this year. And then I've got two foot creams as well, which I will also use up. The last category, sachet samples. I have 13 of these. These are worth a dollar each towards my reverse rouge, so $13. And those of you who are not new and who have been following along before may notice that in the past I have included perfume as part of my skincare inventory. This year I am setting up a perfume inventory separately. So. This is everything that is in skincare for 2021 and my opening totals are 254 items, so a quantity of 254 and the value of my skincare inventory for opening 2021 with is $5,532.83. Those are my opening figures. I've obviously gone through what I'm aiming to use up this year, what I'm keeping down, keeping to hand, hoping to finish and what I am putting aside. So yeah, hopefully that should make a big dent if I do achieve those goals and we'll see where we are at the end of 2021. I think my next video should be my hair care inventory and then I've got obviously my makeup inventory to do and my perfume inventory which will be a new one and once we've got all those totals we can do my makeup rehab or beauty rehab 2021 plans video and set some real overall goals so i hope you're looking forward to that video thank you very much for watching this one and i will speak to you in my next one bye